this reference line like eight days 10 days and 12 days so that you can differentiate how many values are there within this limit how to do it in mini tab and which are all the topic in which we can add the reference line let's find out more so i'm just going to mini tab and in the mini tab you have a help menu in the help menu mini tab is guiding us that in this topic we can do that uh, the reference line we can add it we can add the reference line for scatter mostly for all of these things except the dot plot and except stem and leaf step and pie chart we can do it for all right so let's do it uh, like as i shown before like let's do it for histogram let's say i'm just clicking the histogram let's say this is the example and uh, let's take an example from cap let's say there is a tarp shampoo manufacturer you need to know what's the bottle are being uh, you know the titan properly or not right so let me take this example go to file go to open worksheet take this up okay and i have taken this uh, one value as such so from this value we need to find out uh, right so how to do go to graph and go to histogram let's say we have both the tarp right so let's say this is the tarp value divided by machine and what i need to do is that i'm interested that you know the tarp must be 18 right so let's say how to add that reference line we can okay, we can just create the graph and then we can right click and add it this is one way let's say the graph is created once the graph is created we can just see uh, and add that reference line this is one way in the reference line let's say i wanted to add between uh, two data point right so let's say 18 to 22 example right so just give here and it says that you know how many values are bit falling between these and how many are outside or any of the thing value let's say you want along with the target let's say right click add a reference line and now i'm adding 24 as well so I'm keeping this uh, uh, 26, you can add it. Whatever the value you wanted to add it, let's say I will add 26, not 24. I'll click add 26. You can see here the value has been added and we can see that uh, how many values are there in this spectrum and how many are outside. Like this, you can easily calculate it. Thank you.